So, you walk into the park, and it's loud. I don't see that. <laughs> I, I haven't even started. It's loud. Everyone's excited. You hear kids screaming? Now, we're not doing this. You're imagining it. I hear kids screaming. I can smell from the store all the candies and chocolate cookies that they're cooking. I can see the giant rides and roller coasters. I feel nervous because some of these rides are huge and scary. I can hear shoom, shoom. I can hear the roller coasters going by. I hear some babies crying because maybe they're tired. I see employees working there and they're saying, hello, welcome to Disney World. And I'm starting to feel really excited. Now open your eyes. I ain't got feel nothing. Now, hopefully you were able to kind of imagine what it was like to be in Disney World. So now, what is my first step in writing? What is the first thing we do? Raise your hand. What is the first thing we do when we start writing? Miss Allison. Planning. Planning. So we're going to plan. We already said that my main idea is that Disney is the best place to visit in the world. We are going to use our five senses, like in science, to describe Disney. Yes, Joshua. That's okay. We'll deal with that later. Thank you, though. So... First, we're going to talk about what I see. The first thing that I mentioned seeing is lots of kids. And these kids were happy. So I'm going to write happy kids. What was something else Ms. Rosenberg mentioned seeing? When she, when she had you close your eyes and imagine. What was something else that she mentioned seeing? Miss Allison. Oh, roller coaster rides. What was that word that I said to describe the rides? I didn't just say rides. What kind of rides, Keon? Scary rides. Scary, Scary rides, because they're huge. Oh, they're not scaring me. I was scared. I was not scared. I mean, now you oh, I was scared. What was something else that I saw at Disney when I talked to you guys about it? Miss Yasneek. Hey, babies crying. <gasps> Babies. Oh, but babies crying. I can see them. What else can you do with babies crying besides see them? I can see them, but what else? Nigeria. Oh, I can hear them. So that's going to go under here. So I'm also going to put babies crying here. We write that? Nope, this is the I do. So you're watching, Michaela. Smell. Ooh, when I walked into Disney World, I smelled fresh chocolate cookies and candy. Good job. Fresh. Keon. Did I mention anything else that I... Yes, I know. That I... Oh, Miss Michaela, what do we do when we need to say something? Quiet. What else might I smell walking into Disney, Michaela? Ooh, all kinds of yummy foods. Okay, now I mentioned, I mentioned, thank you. I mentioned how I was feeling. I said two feelings. The first one that I remember saying was that when I walked into Disney and I saw those huge roller coasters, I was really nervous because I was feeling nervous about going on the ride. So... Feeling could be how you're feeling in your head and things you feel with your hands. Hand. So I chose to do something I felt in my head. What's something else that I felt in my head that I mentioned? Malia? You feel like feeling go into the roller coaster. No. Oh, maybe I feel the roller coaster ride? No, no you meant like you want to you feel like you want to be brave like going on roller coaster. Oh, that's a really good idea. I felt nervous, but I knew I needed to be brave. When I walked into Disney World, I was holding my ticket to get in. So in my hand, I felt my smooth ticket. ticket. That's what I'm going to do. Smooth ticket. Now, hey there. Hi there. Hey there. Hi there. Oh, thank you. I see most eyes on me. Table two is going to get a point. Thank you very much. Now, my last sense. What's my last sense on my planning sheet? What's the last one that I have up there?
there, Bernard? Taste. Taste. What is something that I talked about tasting at Disney? What could I taste at Disney World? Joshua. Oh, I can taste those cookies. Would they taste good, bad, sweet, sour? What do you think? Good. Oh, good. Good. Maybe sweet cookies. Oh, I'm looking for hands not calling out. I, I wrote Allison instead of writing cookies. Good cookies. I'm tasting Allison. Good cookies. Allison, what might I taste that's sour? Um, the warhead. <gasps> Maybe sour warhead candies? Ooh. Ooh. Can you buy those? I love those. No, this is Uh-oh, I hear a lot of questions, but I only see a couple hands. So, Sean, where should your eyes be, my love? Quarters away. Thank you, sir. Now. Wally, what else might I taste? Pardon? Oh, gummy bears. How do gummy bears taste? Good. Yeah. Gummy bears. Sweet. Good. Sweet. No, good. Good because. Good. Because. Because. You have a gummy bear. You remember? Oh, I heard. I, I heard someone say sweet that was raising their hand. Wow. Michaela, what's the connection you just made? Go ahead. Um, gummy bears. Um, gummy bears. Sweet because. This was where did we use gummy bears? In what? What were we doing? Um, in math. In math. Good job. So she made a connection because she remembered. Oh, I had gummy bears in math. So maybe she can imagine what Miss Rosenberger tasted when she came to Disney. So today, your goal when you do your planning is to pick your main idea of your favorite place and use your senses to describe or tell me about your favorite place. When I read all of your senses and all of your description words, I want to be able to imagine in my head, if I close my eyes, exactly what that place is like. So, just from all these words that you write, I'm going to be able to pretend that I am there. All right, so now I'm going to go ahead and pass out. 